When I first arrived here in Portugal, it was incredible to see trees with that kind of surface bark. You've never seen anything that's really as tactile. Um, to see forests of it was really extraordinary because you don't see cork in that way. You're familiar with it with, as a product. I see you know, tiles or in cork you know, for bottle stoppers and what have you. But to see it in its raw state, fascinating. And the more that you understand the process, the more interesting you think. Every nine or 10 years that you harvest cork and then it replenishes the cork back. The farmers, when they take it, they make it into these bales and they do look like found sculptures that belong somehow to the formal language of you know, high modernism. I mean, there are so many comparables within the language of, of, uh, of minimalism. And to see them stacked in you know, the rural context, in farms, and they're just scattered around was really fascinating. Transforming the material, uh, transforming its nature by applying a colour to it, for me was something that was quite exciting. You know, whether you've got this Eve Klein blue, this ultramarine or this sort of carbon ivory black. Giving it a formal nature and stacking it just as the, you know, as the farmers do here, I think was something that it would then become a found sculpture. So my, my involvement was reduced to just really a decision of colour and scale and proportion. So we sprayed each piece. We, you know, we worked on each, each section, which is probably over, I don't know, 1800 pieces of cork but the local people loved it because it's so familiar the cork and then yeah. to then to see and to meet it in this blue form everybody was very interactive with it and we put a tube in the middle so you could look through it and I've made some other sculptures and you know more industrial tiles like this one so we made we got we got various pieces of virgin cork so you know you have you can take that after maybe 25 30 years and then I flattened the, these various pieces and brought them together so that somehow it looks as if it's one part of a bigger whole. Almost like you've cast the whole of a, you know, the, the, the trunk of a tree and then you've opened it up. You know, I don't know of any other material that's got that kind of incredibly animated quality. So all in all, fascinating. Um, I think I just fell in love with the material for its exotic nature to start with.